So we've just rented a car on Amorgas Island and we're off to see the monastery and have a drive of the island. We'll see how it goes. Daniel's in charge on the other side of the car, other side of the road. And Jessica's a little bit confused. We've never been in a big car seat before. What do you think, Jessica? Are you a little bit confused as to what's happening? Hey? Moving cars are not like moving boats. Where have we been? To see the boat. Not our boat, another boat. It's in a bit worse shape. It was a shipwreck. <laughs> yeah. And where are we going now? I don't know. To where Charlotte tells me to. <laughs> We're actually going to the Chora, the main town for lunch. Hopefully something's open. But uh, the walk down was beautiful. And uh, I'm hungry. broken what it does and why you're fixing it so when we were sailing yesterday um, it's about 20 knots so we had our first reef in which decreases the size of the mainsail makes it easier to handle but it was squeaking a lot which isn't normal and the rope was rubbing and chafing against the uh, 
the ghost sneak in here. So, brand new bit of rope completely wore through the outer sheath, which is no good because then it'll jam. Um, it's also bad because that means it'll chafe through the strong part. So I'm going to end for end it so we can actually take first reef if we need to. And then we'll have to figure out a way of fixing it when we get somewhere where we can buy a rope. Today we're heading to the Dockanese. We've just left Lefvia Island here and we're heading here to Calaminos, which is our first Dockanese island. Yesterday we came from here, Amorgos. It was a pretty rough passage. We just made it to Calaminos Island, the first island in the Dockanese, and um, it was a really nice sail today. Jessica's been really happy and really struggled to anchor here. The reviews were really good, but that was the hardest anchoring we've done in us. Oh, jeez. Okay. What's happened? Well, you might be wondering why the motor is like this. So we're in an anchorage on a mooring and we'd left the dinghy tied to the back of the boat. Uh, we were both doing something downstairs, probably left it for about two minutes and a gust came through and flipped it. So came upstairs to find the motor upside down on the water, which is not how you want it. Which now we're going through the process of figuring out how to prevent our motor from dying from being exposed to salt water um, we think we may have got lucky that didn't appear like there was too much water in there we've rinsed it with fresh water taken the spark plugs out they don't seem damp cleaned everything dried everything wd-40 on the electrical now just figuring out what to do next Cleaned it, put oil in the cylinder, try and displace any water that might have got in there. Um, cycled the oil through, checked the oil, didn't look like there was any water in the oil of the engine. So we started it running fresh water through the through the flush. I don't know why, but treat it nicely. Uh, it started, it ran, we stopped it, we then checked the oil again um, and it was clear. So now I've got it back on our salt water system and I'm going to run it for five minutes just to make sure it doesn't cut out or anything like that. Then check the oil again. If that's clear, then we'll run it for a day or two using it not revving too high, then we'll lift it back up, change all the oil, and then hopefully we've dodged a bullet. A couple of days ago the dinghy flipped in a gust of wind, so it meant the engine got water in it. We think it was only upside down for a couple of minutes, but you don't want salt water getting into your engine. We took it apart cleaned it, tried to service it as best we could, flushed the outside with fresh water, sprayed it with CRC, put engine oil in the cylinders to try and clear it out. And now we've had it running for a day 
we're going to change the engine oil and the engine and the oil filter a couple of times over the next wee while to try and get all the rubbish that got into the engine out of it and and to show that this is the engine oil that came out you can see it looks like a chocolate milkshake the kind of good oil that I flushed through the engine is on the top and it looks like golden syrup but then you've got this stuff in here that's just absolute rubbish which is uh, water mixed in with the oil and that's the kind of stuff that we want to get out and then hopefully we'll be back to an engine that'll run as reliably as it did before but we'll have to keep an eye on it because engines are never meant to have salt water in them. We're in Cos Town, just come back from town, it's a beautiful day. We've only got 10 days left in Greece, a week actually, left in Greece. So we're wanting to make the most of it. And the scary thing is, Turkey is just there. We, we can see the towns of Turkey from here. This country's being so close, is so foreign to us.